Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. So today we're going to be doing something so insane that I don't think any other YouTuber would do this. So in the light of that, let's get this video to 20,000 likes. I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all like 20,000 likes? Oh my God. Listen, this is going to be a video for the history books. You understand what I'm saying to you guys? So check it out. Today, I just got the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah, you guys see the little camera thing on it, so you kind of know that it's the Max. So, yeah, let's talk about that for a moment. I've been trying to scan my face into 2K since the demo came out. Um, when the My 2K app launched, it was a total fail. Nobody could log into it. Once the demo came out and we were able to scan our faces, people were missing their names. The scan app wasn't working. It was failing for a lot of people. So when the game actually came out, the app started working. But what I noticed was when I scanned my face, I couldn't get rid of something. There was something that always messed up my scan. And it's just the bad boy right here, my mustache. So today I'm going to shave my mustache and rescan my face for NBA 2K20. I know, man. I know this this sounds insane. This is something that nobody would ever do, but I'm going to do it right here for you guys, man. I'm, I'm going to show you guys me shaving my mustache off and I'm going to show you guys scanning my face and we're going to put this new face scan on my 95 overall point guard and hopefully it all goes well because, man, I can tell you, walking around with a beard with no mustache is going to be pretty embarrassing for like the next week and a half to two weeks. So, uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy, like this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so there are going to be three items that I might have to use. The first item is definitely going to be my trimmers. The second item that I might try is my Gillette. Now, this is a five blade. I use this for my head and sometimes my neck, but I never have used it close to my lips. So I'm pretty scared about that, but I will use it if I have to with cream. And the final item on the list is this bad boy right here. You might remember this from my last year's scan. I actually use this to get like some of the hairs off right here that need to be uh, fine, I guess, tuned or whatever. But if I have to use this, this is going to be the most like precise and scary part of it all. Because when I'm using this, I literally don't want to hear a pin drop or I might cut my skin like 100% of the time. So let's go ahead and try this first. I'm doing this man I really cannot believe I'm doing this okay say goodbye mm. I don't even want to look Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Pray for me. <laughs> All right. 
So, the next thing is, I have to scan my face. So far, this video should be at 15,000 likes. Let's keep going. All right, guys, it's time for me to scan my face into NBA 2K20. Now, just to let you guys know, I will be using the front face camera of the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. And uh, if it comes out pretty good, I might end up using the backwards cam tomorrow. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, scan my face. All right, we are uploading the files right now. And I can tell you guys that it looks insane. I know you guys can see from my face that I look insane. So you know the pictures look insane. Let's hop on 2K and scan our face into the game. All right, guys, here it is, man. This is where everything counts. Let's see if our my player appearance can actually look good at all. So um, I uploaded my face scan data with the My NBA 2K app. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, it looks like it preloaded my face already before we check for the scan data, which is pretty good. Um, now this usually takes like five to eight minutes to import. So, um, what I actually did was I sped up the video and everything like that. And I know that this is probably going to be one of those questions inside the comment section. Why didn't 2k scan you into the game? Well, I have an answer for you guys. Um, basically the reason that I'm not scanned into the game is that I thought since people got scanned last year, which was year one, they told people that they couldn't get tattoos. They couldn't wear hats. They couldn't wear bandanas. They couldn't wear glasses. They couldn't do anything to change their actual scan within the game. So when I was talking with constant and Ronnie 2k about the whole scanning process, they didn't tell me that. The new thing this year was that people that got scanned into the game would actually be able to get black hand tats, black neck tats, be able to wear hats, wear headbands, be able to put glasses on and things of that nature, be able to have arm, back, chest, neck, leg, all the above type of tattoos. And I didn't find that out until after launch. So I missed out on getting scanned into the game. But what you guys can do is say, hey, tweet 2K and let them know I probably should be scanned into NBA 2K21 for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? But uh, right now, I'm just fixing everything up. You guys notice that there's like a really, really bright spot like right in the middle of my face. I don't know why, but from the bridge of my nose down to the bottom of my chin, it always comes out red. I don't know if that's a 2K scan thing. I don't know if that's my face. I don't know if I just have rosy cheeks. I don't know what's going on, but I can tell that this player definitely looks more like me than the preloaded scan that they actually gave me before they added all of the data. Um, and I can probably manipulate the tones a little bit to make it look a little bit more like me. Um, but I, I can say that that whole red spot in the middle of my face does throw it off a little bit. But as I scroll through the goatees, they look a little fire. Look, and that, yo, hope, oh, hold up. Hold up. It looked like I might have been scanned into the game low key. Now, check it out, man. We're going to go ahead and run somewhere private. I know you guys see the body. Um, basically, I purchased the um, new Beats Pro wireless whatever joints from the store. So, I'm able to change from my hat to my Beats by pressing the down uh pad button and it changed instantaneous i don't have to like take the headphones off there's no real animation so i can run and keep switching my hat on and off for you guys if i wanted to um i'll show you guys right here but basically i just wanted to pick a private corner and go through different skin tones with you guys this right here is the first skin tone i like it a little bit but this skin tone right here really shows like me like my skin tone in real life opposed to like having to make it a little bit lighter to match that weird red spot in the middle of my face now this right here is me with the james harden type of beard i really don't like it much at all but if you guys want me to use a james harden type of beard 
let me know inside the comment section if you like that over the traditional regular goatee with the chin strap um and this is me like in better lighting with that james harden beard let me know man make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace yeah you can't watch this whole video without subscribing